schedule a free design consultation and the more you buy, the more you'll save on blinds, shades, shutters, and more from Budget Blinds. Visit BudgetBlinds.com today. And Moses joins us on a desk for sports and the RJ Lalonde Arena sure to be sure to draw a crowd tonight for the AJHL North Division Finals. Yes, game three between the Pontiacs and Saints gets underway. I'm feeling a little bit chilly after watching that mm -hmm. Halifax a little, video. A little, a little cool bit under the weather right now. <laughs> but you know what? Who won't be the fans because it's going to be insane, like you said, Bart, at the RJ. And of course, uh, if you look what happened over the weekend in Spruce Grove, the Pontiacs definitely deserve it because they dropped game one of this series Friday. They were able to battle back and even things up with a 4-2 victory in game two. Now, a win, head coach Rick Swan says, is the result of the team's ability to dictate play on both ends of the ice. Said that if uh, we're going to have any type of success, then we've got to play our game, uh, which is simple, physical, and, and we rely on good goaltending and Troy Tremblay and uh, really force Spruce Grove uh, to be at their very best if they want to achieve any success against our group. With the scene shifting back to Bonneville for games three and four, the Pontiacs like where they're sitting with a chance to grab two big wins in front of their home crowd. If, if they want to beat the Bonneville Pontiacs at home, then, then they have to be the better team. Uh, but we certainly like where we are, uh, you know, at this point with a split coming into the RJ Lalonde Arena tonight. Puck drop goes at 7.30 tonight and again tomorrow night for game four. Meanwhile to Junior B Hockey, the Lloydminster Bandits are locking up their head coach after a successful first season behind the bench. I'm excited that they, they showed me confidence that they're willing to extend me to uh, three years. It's, it's, it's definitely a big commitment on their part. The club has re-signed rookie head coach Adam Andrew to a three-year contract. Under Andrew, the team finished fifth in the Northeastern Alberta Junior B Hockey League with a record of 2013-3. In the playoffs, they won their first series in seven games against St. Paul before being swept in the second round versus Wainwright. Andrew says he'll be more prepared next season when the puck is dropped in September. Preparing to move into the next season and make some adjustments and same with my coaching style or and system wise is just um, to kind of get mentally prepared for going into next season where last year I didn't have that that preparation or that in-depth understanding of who's out there in the league and um, like I did this year. The team will be losing a few key pieces including their captain Anthony Renier and Jarrett Wayhill but the team which had 14 rookies will need those players to step up their game. All right, Paradise Valley's Jetlin Houcher might have some time off, but is not done playing hockey this year. You see, Houcher will try to lead the Fort McMurray Oil Barons, who host this year's Western Canada Cup. His team was eliminated in the first round, but he's back in Lloyd Minster skating with the Bantam and Midget hockey players before his team gets back into training in two weeks. Now, Hatcher has an impressive 71 points in 60 games with the mob. And even though this is his last year of junior hockey, he will continue next season with Alabama. Meanwhile, the Western Canada Cup gets underway on April 25th. And that is your first look at sports. Gerard Lampau has your weather details coming up. Hello, everyone. April is definitely around the corner, and the softball season gets into full swing here in the border city. Claire Hanna caught up with some of the local ball players to see how they've been preparing for action on the diamond. Morgan Suarez's interest in softball was peaked after seeing a flyer for a program at school, and she's been playing the sport ever since. But it hasn't been easy living in a climate that only allows for a few months of outdoor practice per year. We'll go outside in the fall till snow comes, then we're in here all winter, and then we're right into softball, so you get like a couple months off. But this year, softball players of all ages in the border city hit a grand slam as the city invested in a batting cage. Now we can actually practice batting inside instead of waiting until it's snow outside and the snow is gone and we can just get more in. It's really fun, like the bo the bo you set the time, like how fast it is on the pitching machine and then you, and then that's how fast it is and it'll come at you like that. This is great. This is where we're going to be able to get a little better jump start uh, from before. We used to always have to kind of wait till May and get outdoors. Edmonton, Calgary, those major centers, they have they have access to these sort of cages all the time. And it's just a little bit of a hindrance for, um, for us to, to really compete with them. 
The popularity of softball in Lloyd Minster has grown significantly in the last decade and for the first time in this club's history there will be a U18 team. They're definitely um, coming in from other sports whether that be soccer or lacrosse or whatnot and it just seems to be um, really growing within our city. It's a great sport that obviously has been around for the ages and it's just a matter of uh, once you get a, a group of girls together or boys for the for the Lloyd Minster Twins uh, once you get that momentum, it's very easy to get these kids out in March, as you can see, uh, and they're ready to play ball. Claire Hanna, Newcap Sports. Well, they're considered the last line of defense and can make or break a game or even a series. I'm referring to goaltenders, of course. From Carey Price to the Bantam Blazers' Roddy Ross, they highlight the Newcap Plays of the Week.